my YouTube channel. Welcome back to OWT. Yes, yes, I have been MIA for a while. I know that that is sorry for another day. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on this beautiful black soap, which is the Cottage Fresh Alaka Seminar Pure Herbal Soap. So this is the soap right here. Let me give you guys an up close look. I'm going to be telling you guys how to identify the fake on the market, how to differentiate between the fake and the original um, black soap. So this is the um, the Cottage Fresh, like I said earlier, the Cottage Fresh Alata Seminar Pure Herbal Soap. So this is, where this is the soap I'm currently using at the moment. So um, I'm going to show you guys, like, this is um, how far I have gone. This is like the pot um, container I have used. And this is what the inside looks like. Um, and this soap lasts for at least three months um, if you use it um, appropriately. So to identify the original Final Cottage Fresh Alata Seminar Pure Herbal Soap, the first way is to make sure that the soap has this barcode so this is the first way to identify the, the, the soap the original one make sure that once you get the, um, the soap that the soap has this uh, barcode this way you can scan it and know if it's original so if it's fake it's not going to have this um barcode and if it's original it is definitely going to have this barcode by the side so this is the first way to identify the original uh, cottage um, black soap the second way to identify the original um, cottage black soap is to make sure that you can see this this stuff written on the on, at the top. The original one is made by Getard. The original one is made by Getard. There's another one that is made by I think Rinos or something. But the original one is made by Getard and it's a Ghana soap. It is made by Getard. So once you are getting the soap, make sure you check the top cover and make sure it's written Getard Cottage Fresh Ghana Fresh Fresh Ghana as you can see and then this R sign with this logo. And then the third way you can identify the original um, cottage black soap is to make sure that this Ghana is written there. There are a lot of fake of this soap on the market. And also, I hear there is a Nigerian version of this soap on the market. But the original one is made in Ghana. Originally, black soap originated from Ghana. Um, if you are very familiar with Gigi Osun and the like. So you can see Ghana is written on it. That shows that it's original. It's the one made in Ghana. So that's the third way you can identify the original um, cottage fresh alata seminar pure about soap the first way you can identify the original one is to make sure that it doesn't have fragrance so once you buy this soap open it once you open it perceive it as you can see the original one doesn't have a lot of fragrance in it the fragrance is not so much and that's the way most black soap are most black soap don't really have a lot of fragrance but when you get the fake one you notice it has a lot of fragrance in it so to perceive this it, it smells like the original black soap so when you are getting your soap Open it, it's allowed to open the soap as, as long as it's not sealed. So you can open it and check it. And then the final way you can identify the original cottage black soap, the original one, is to make sure that it has this seal. You can see this seal right here on my cover, this nylon seal. I'm trying to get it out. You can see this nylon seal. When you buy your soap, this, this nylon seal is going to be on the cover. It's going to be directly at the top of this stuff. It's going to be at the top. You get so once the stuff doesn't have this nylon, this um nylon, just know it's not the original one because once you're getting your soap, it's going to have this seal at the top. So that's the fifth and final way to identify your original cottage fresh alata seminar pure about soap. This soap is really really nice. I've been using it for over a year and it's really really amazing. There are a lot of black soaps on the market, but this is very, very affordable. Depending on where you are getting your stuff, I got it for a thousand three hundred. Depending on where you are getting your own products, some places, if you get it from a big supermarket, um, it's going to be around one five. If you get it from a local market, it should be around one three or thereabout. It's a very, very, very nice and effective soap. I'm not saying it's going to work for everybody because sometimes what works for A may not work for B, but this is really, really effective and I try to share with you guys. So a lot of people have been sending me message, messages since I went MI. A lot of people have come to my, um, sent me emails Some people have sent me messages on Facebook asking me what can I use on my skin, what can I use on my skin, what cream can I use. And I try to share the soap I'm currently using at the moment. I'm going to be making a lot of reviews on soaps and creams. The ones I've used in the past, the ones I know other people are currently using. So this is a very, 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 very good soap. It is really, really effective on the skin. Really, really nice. Really, I recommend this soap actually. And something I really, on, on a side note, something I notice about people is that when you get a new skincare product, you're just in a hurry to see results. Like, you get a product today, 
and then within the next one one week seven days you want to see fast results no no things um skincare products don't work like magic they are something i think you should give it about three weeks for you to start seeing results and after three weeks if you don't see results then of course you can know okay this is not suitable for my skin or something and then you can get another product don't be someone that move from one product to another use um you use this soap this week the next week you're using another soap the following week you're using another soap and you just keep changing products nothing is going to work on your skin another thing is that make sure you try to exfoliate your skin because exfoliating helps to remove the dark um, layers of our skin and then makes your skin your skincare product to penetrate very well into your skin so it's advisable that you, you exfoliate your skin at least once in a week so once you um, exfoliate your skin it makes your skin softer and then the skincare product you use on your skin works adequately another thing you should try to do is to make sure you at least visit your spa at least once or once in a month or once in two months it's really advisable you go to the spa you know so you can further keep cleans your skin you know so like i always say please when you're using a product give it time give it time be patient don't be a pro they won't be, don't be someone that jumps from one product to another today you're using this product the next day you're using another product um be patient with your product be patient really because a lot of people are not patient i'll tell you once they buy something today, the next day they are counting it. Are you seeing any difference on my skin? Is it working? Is it not working? No, that's not the way to use products. Give your product time. If you give it time and then it's not suitable for your skin, then of course you can try something else, you know, and all that. And so that is it about this um cottage fresh. That's it about this cottage fresh a lot of stamina pure about soup. It's really a great soup. It's not a sponsored video, but you know, you guys can sponsor your girl. Your girl needs money. Your girl needs to make this, make this coin. But it's not a sponsored video. This is the soap I'm currently using at the moment. I thought to share with you guys for those that have been asking what can I use, what can I use. I'm not a dermatologist. I only say what I'm using and what has worked on my own skin. And then you can try it out. If it works for your own skin, fine. If it doesn't work for your skin, you try something else. But this is what I'm currently using at the moment and it's working amazingly well on my skin. So that's it. That is that about this video. I'm going to be doing a lot of um, reviews going forward. There will be a lot of reviews on my channel. So if tell me what you like to see. Tell me the product you like me to review. And maybe there may be products I have used in the past. Or products I have relatives or friends that have used in the past. Drop that in the comment section. I'm going to do a review on a lot of soaps. A lot of creams. There will be a lot of reviews on my channel. A lot of skincare reviews. Hair reviews and what not. Any um, product you like me to review. Just drop that in the comment section. Going forward my channel is mostly about review of skincare products talking about skincare beauty everything beauty related here on my channel reviews of cream so you know educating you on how to have a beautiful and a glowing skin how to take care of your hair and just your general body care in all i hope you enjoyed watching my video if you did enjoy watching my video and not subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel subscription is absolutely free to do so smash the red button down below this video Turn on the bell icon for notification, give this video a thumbs up, and do not hesitate to share to your friends and your family. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!